Okay, let's talk about one of the most potent mindset shifts that I use on myself and one of the most frequent mindset shifts that I give to my clients that really help to build momentum and keep things moving in the business in the direction that you want towards the greatest results that you know that you're meant for. So what is that? We're going to get right down to business in today's video. And that is, and the, this question came up actually just now in a real world wealth live Q and A. And someone asked, how do I let go of past purchases or things that, you know, didn't work out where I feel a degree of, you know, regret and contraction around it. Or, you know, I have to pay someone that I really don't feel like paying. This also comes up when people had a bad launch month and they're like, oh, this launch just really flopped. And I don't know if it was the offer itself or the price point, or maybe I was in a funky energy. What do I do about this? How do I prepare myself to go into the next launch? Because I'm worried that, you know, if this offer didn't sell, then maybe the next thing is also not going to sell so well. This comes up when you hire a new team member. I'm supporting many of my clients right now who are hiring new team and the team member isn't performing the way that you desire or there's a mismatch somehow and things aren't getting done and it feels really frustrating and it's so easy and understandable to be in the mindset of, oh, well, maybe this just means that I'm not going to find, you know, maybe I just have to do these things myself because I'm different and I'm, you know, I have a really high standard for things and I want it done a specific way. And, you know, so maybe that that's not going to work out really well. Or, you know, you hire a, a graphic designer and you're so excited. You're like, I'm going to have the most beautiful website. I'm going to have the most beautiful graphics for Instagram. And then you get them and they're like, kind of mediocre they're not really your vibe you have to put a lot of work into trying to get them to look the way that you want them to look a lot of things basically anything that goes on your business it goes on in your business this mindset can help you with so here's the shift and this is something that I've put into place for a really long time in my business this is something that my coach coaches me on that she really you know she's made multiple eight figures online is an absolute OG legend like these are the things at the top of the industry how they're looking at things and how they're approaching it and it's really this distinguishing line between someone who's more of um let's say an amateur entrepreneur and someone who's really going to make it as an entrepreneur and someone who's going to last and thrive, which I know you guys are and you're here because you're focused on thriving and you're doing well in your businesses and you want more growth and you're ready for more influences and, and more influence and more money and more opportunities and, and a bigger stage for your work. That's why you're here. That's why you're investing the time in watching videos like this and being in my community. And I'm so grateful that you are. This mindset is literally just like, oh, okay, well, that didn't work. On to the next thing. On to the next thing. Let's go. What's, oh, this team member didn't work out. Okay, let's, on to the next project. Let's try this again. Let's try it a different way. Let's see how it goes if I give them instructions like this, or let's see how it works and with their zone of genius if I give them this, or let's bring on someone else to help this person, or maybe this wasn't a good fit. Great, on to the next thing. I'm going to hire someone else, or this launch didn't go well. Here's like the classic, oh my God, this one thing didn't sell well. And then you can go into all kinds of storytelling about what's coming in the future and what this means about you. You can go there and more amateur entrepreneur would go there, but someone who's going to thrive long-term in this industry, someone like you is going to think, oh yeah, that launch didn't work out. Okay. Well, I noticed that I did this, which can be improved on next time. So let's go, let's launch it again. Let's create the next offer. Let's go on to the next thing. Just on to the next thing. Sales call. You get a no. You get a rejection. You could easily go down the rabbit hole of like, oh no, they said no. My price point is too high. I haven't gotten any applications in the past couple of weeks. Maybe this just means that everyone's hiring the other people who do this work in my field and they're not going to hire me and you can go down that path. Or you can go, oh, they were not a fit. They were a no. On to the next one bring on the next discovery call, on to the next thing, on to the next live stream I'm going to get on and make another offer, on to the next thing. Graphic design doesn't look good. Great. Send it back with some feedback. On to the next one. Show me something else. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. That purchase didn't work out. 
the dress that you thought was gonna fit really amazing at the wedding and look spectacular and it just kind of like didn't look so good in photos and it was really uncomfortable and it was way too expensive and you didn't realize it until you actually wore it through the whole day and then you're like oh i really regret that i spent 500 dollars on this dress that i'm not going to be able to wear again let it go on to the next one donate it send it to a friend off you know offer it in a closet exchange buy a new dress on to the next thing feel the vibe that the purchase the course the thing that you did last time didn't work out that doesn't mean anything about your future potential of your future investments you bought bitcoin at the wrong time oh well on to the next one can't fix it now buy a new coin open a new portfolio try something else on to the next one that's it you guys this is the mindset of winners this is the mindset where you don't get caught up in any unnecessary drama where you do not create stories around things where you do not stay stuck where you do not spiral around something that didn't go your way you just understand that this is the way that life is this is the way that business is there are going to be ups and downs there's going to be things that work things that don't work there's going to be products that sell well products that don't sell well programs that sell out programs that flop price points that attract people in price points you don't feel as good about whatever team members that are going to be all stars and are going to stay with you for life there's gonna be team members that come in and it just wasn't a fit on to the next keep it moving on to the next thing who needed to hear this today? Hey, my loves. I love you.